Welcome to Hardcraft Stadium, birthplace of the Micro Hard Mutilators. Today's game brought to you by Micro Hard Crash and Burn Technologies. Today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams take the field. The Los Angeles Volts go up against the Micro Hard Mutilators. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hope you got your mutant tailgate buzz on. I know I did. The teams are revving up on the sidelines, and we are ready for some mutant football. Grim Blitzer along with Bricks and Bricks Jr. Yeah, Grim. I had a little eye open at myself at the mutant bloodmobile park next to the taco truck outside. Called a lobotomy shot. Raccoon rabies blood and red bull crap. Woohoo! Yeah, I can tell your mouth looks like a hot shaving cream dispenser. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. First and ten. This guy's a, oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. Four yards on that one, and he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Second down and six. Interception, and that's how you stop an offense. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. First and ten. Boom, get him down. He just sent a message for that hit. Yeah, the message was he can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, oh, going in circles. Okay. should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They've just been called center straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Man, what a hit that was. And it's first and ten. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. And he just slipped away like a greased pig. Oh, man. 
Sharks, you've got to love a player who goes down. Oh, mama. Just call him Captain Crunch. Another one bites the dust. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't know how to throw interceptions, but... Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. Six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not... Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore win. And it's first and ten. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. Oh, nice hit! And it's first and ten. And he picks up maybe four on that play. Second down and six. That's a solid pickup. I wish people would do solid pickups more often. I step in dog turns on my front porch every day. And that'll bring up third and one. And the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. Oh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so do the fans. And it's first and ten. Oh, with the punishing hit. And it's first and ten. Which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. Oh, look at this guy break tackles. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without no... And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. And it's first and ten. Yo, man, nobody can touch you when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Second down and long. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. Seven yards on the catch, nicely done. Third down and five. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. And it's 
First and ten. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. Nicely done for a first down. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed anyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but uh, not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? And it's first and ten. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. Well, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chimp wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. A good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the change of score, did it? How good can it be? Second down and five. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sharing when he was in school. Yeah, that's why he's so popular with the other kids. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. First and eight to go. Second and three. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? And that'll bring up third and one. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it's good. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. First and ten. And that is caught for a first down. And it's first and ten. Great play by the defense. It's not too often a quarterback gets rejected. That's why that's the position I originally tried out for. I want to know what it's like for other people to accept you. Now that went from a joke to making me feel feelings. Stop it. This isn't a play.
Fight to feel feelings. This is for Bam. Say goodnight to that guy, Briggs. Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. Third down and nine. Run for five yards. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. Now with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. He broke free and has open field in front of him. He's at the 40. Just some good old downhill running there as he picks up the first down. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? First in and three. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Actually, he does have some turkeys getting wrapped in on his backside from that bad burn he had last year. My Lord, we <laughs> Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. They're going to be able to return this one. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And it's first and ten. Shit house. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL. The offense is down to their last running back. No rest for the weary. The last runner has to suck it up and hopefully not die. And it's first and ten. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. He's at the party. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. A touchdown saving tackle. The offense lost their last running back on the previous play. Next time the offense comes out in the field, they will have no running plays. It's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. Oh, mama. Just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. I will hell no son of The offense lost another running back and only two remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Yeah, like if I rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Tell us something we don't know, genius. First down and one. Hot one, hot two, hot three. The defender says, I don't think so. And that'll bring up second and one. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. And the ball is 
one, and he runs it in for the touchdown. He could probably be a better dancer if he went to dance class, but as you can see, he uh, doesn't have the stomach for it. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. is getting kills. Ah, uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. You know, Bricks, we might be seeing the birth of a new dance craze. This guy may not be programmed to feel love or pain, but, man, he is programmed to get down and get funky. Get with it, brother. Get with it. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. And they line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first to ten. And he was stuck to him like glue. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. Ah, another interception. Geez, you give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody else combined, you'd expect him. Oh, did he take a punishing hit? You ever had your lights knocked out like that, Bricks? Yeah, the white juice at the Boo Booters chicken wings last night? Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and then, then the police horse is out front in the stadium earlier. That was just a joke slap, but the horse took it seriously. Not surprised. And the passing game picking up some steam, a gain of seven there. Second and three, and he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. Hot one. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. You know, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two minute drill. will give them a first down. I don't know if there is, but he sure has a good... The quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? And he's able to grab that one somehow. And whoever said never hit a man when he's down is just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. Yeah, 
At the end of quarter two, it's a blowout. We now go to our halftime show sponsored by Monsatan Industries, makers of great killer products like Groundup. Use it on pesky weeds or neighbors, and they'll be gone by morning. The third quarter is about to begin, and if it's as much of a blowout as the first half was, we may see a riot in the stands. Well, that's going to happen either way, Grim. It's a $1 Red Bull slapping box of Jello shot day. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Pacow! What a kick! That's headed for the end zone. Pacow! And just throwing some stuff at the wall to see what sticks, Bricks. And it's first and ten. Is he dead? Uh, nah, he's still moving. Crap. I had money on him biting the big one. If he don't die soon, my loan shark is gonna kill me. First down and six. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. You see that dude, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> Second down and nine. And he laterals the ball. Man, these guys like playing high-risk ball. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Actually, he does have some turkeys getting wrapped on his backside from that bad burn he had last year. <laughs> well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. He picks up eight yards on that pass. Second down and two. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must... And he breaks away. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. And it's first and ten. Destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. <laughs> the offense lost their final quarterback. Lucky for them, they're on defense now, or the game would be over. Uh, so all the other team has to do is pump the force of forfeit? That would be correct, Bricks. And it's first and ten. Gets another pick. Man, rough day. Hey, Grim, what a bit of No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I gotta check it off my Dead Mutant bingo card. I only need one more. And it's first and ten. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage.
second down and ten. Third down and, well, good luck. And that's another turnover for the defense. Looks like this one's coming back. The micro hard mutilators were soundly mutilated today and forfeit the game. It's probably a good thing the game ended up in forfeit. They weren't going to make it out of the stadium alive with this performance anyway. The fans were going to kill them if the opposition didn't. Gotta love that fan passion. Let's hear what the game's MVP has to say about this carnage. I'd rather listen to Sarah Palin read the entire works of Shakespeare while tripping my brains out. Uh, actually, that sounds kind of fun. Yeah, man, she's going to get them out. <laughs> Once again, the folks at Evil SM thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzro with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Micro Heart Corporation. They get it right every up.